Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Monday and it's back to meal prep. I can't tell you how much I actually missed having meal prepped breakfast, lunches, and snacks on hand. It definitely helps keep me on track, makes my life a lot easier. So I'm really excited that I'm in the physical condition to do this week's meal prep. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I typically upload a meal prep every Monday and five videos every single week week. Check out the description box down below where you will find my recipe website. That is where you will find all three of today's recipes, as well as nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost 140 pounds, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's head on to the kitchen for meal prep. For breakfast this week, I am making an easy, healthy, baked pear oatmeal. I love pears and I don't eat them enough, so I'm really excited about having this the entire week. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need some walnuts, rolled oats, milk of your choice. As you know, I always use Fairlife for the added protein, vanilla extract, salt, baking powder, ginger, cinnamon, and four Bosch pears. So to get started on the baked oatmeal, I'm going to add two cups of rolled oats, one teaspoon of baking powder, about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and ginger. I'm going to do more like a tablespoon just because I want that added flavor. A pinch of salt and half of a cup of chopped walnuts. Give that a stir, mix all of your dry ingredients together really well. Then we're going to add two cups of Fairlife milk and about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then give that another quick stir. And then we're gonna add in the four chopped up pears and give it a final stir. sprayed a six by nine baking dish with some cooking spray and we're going to add in the oat mixture. And then just spread that out nice and even in the bottom. I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. This is going into a 375 degree oven for about 35 minutes. The pear baked oatmeal is out of the oven and I have to say this looks absolutely delicious. It smells delicious. It actually makes eight servings. I plan on pairing this with some protein, whether that be bacon, turkey bacon, eggs. We'll just see how the week goes, but I'm going to have this as part of my breakfast this week. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For lunch this week, I am making chili. I have been craving chili. This is packed with fiber, packed with protein, exactly what I need. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need a yellow onion, minced garlic, a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. The recipe actually calls for three cans of black beans, but I'm doing two cans of black beans, one can of chili beans, lots of seasoning, or you could even use a chili seasoning pack. But I need smoked paprika, oregano, chili powder, not parsley, cumin. Let me grab out my cumin. Tomato paste, salt and pepper, and a pound of 99% extra lean ground turkey. So I'm going to be making my chili in the Instant Pot since I'm not allowed to cook. I actually just turned it on to saute, but you can make this recipe on your stove top. You could probably even throw this in your crock pot, but because of my situation, we're gonna use the Instant Pot. So I sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. I diced up my onions, so I'm going to add that, and a couple of big scoops of minced garlic. And like I said, I have this on saute, and I'm going to let this saute down just a little bit it until the garlic becomes fragrant and the onions are soft. I'm going to go ahead and add in my pound of 99% ground turkey and we're going to let that also on saute mode cook completely through. Once your ground turkey is cooked, go ahead and re turn off your Instant Pot. We're going to add in our spices. Chili powder, smoked paprika, oregano, 
and cumin. Some salt and pepper. I will link this cute little salt and pepper holder down below. I got this right off of Amazon. I'm going to give that just a quick stir before adding in all of my beans and my diced tomatoes. You're going to add all your beans in undrained. So there's my can of chili beans, black beans. And my diced tomatoes with chilies. And then again, give that a stir. Make sure it's mixed really well. You want that seasoning to get incorporated with the beans and the diced tomatoes. We're going to add in about a quarter cup of tomato paste. Give it one last stir. Now you want your chili mixture to simmer about 10 minutes, whether that's on the stove top or in the Instant Pot. So I'm going to go ahead and set my Instant Pot for 10 minutes. So I just turned off the Instant Pot, removed the lid, and the chili is done. This looks so good. Let me just tell you how amazing this smells. As it cools, it will definitely thicken up, even though it's pretty thick already. So let me go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen. You can add your favorite chili topping, sour cream, cheese, crackers. I'm seriously so excited for this. For a sweet treat, dessert, snack this week, I am making copycat perfect bars. Now I love the perfect bar, but they're really high in calories and points. And there's some processed ingredients in there. And this way we're kind of able to make it our own. So let me show you what you'll need for the recipe. First, you're going to need coconut oil, powdered egg whites, AKA meringue powder, some salt, two types of peanut butter. You'll need a crunchy and a creamy. I was going to use American dream nut butter, but I don't want to alter the flavor of the bars from just being peanut butter. So I'm just going to use regular peanut butter, honey, and then you'll need some non-fat dry milk powder. So to put together the perfect bars, it is so easy. And this is actually a no bake recipe. So even better. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a quarter cup of chunky peanut butter and then a cup of creamy, a third of a cup of raw honey, a half of a cup of the egg white powder, three quarters of a cup of the non-fat powdered milk, a pinch of salt, and three tablespoons of melted coconut oil. And then you can use a stand mixer, a handheld mixer. You can just mix this together, but you want everything fully mixed and combined. We're going to spread that mixture in the bottom of any type of dish. It doesn't really matter. You're just going to add your mixture and then using wax paper, spread it out evenly. We're going to place the perfect bars in the refrigerator until they are solid. One hour later. So the bars have hardened. The coconut oil is essential to make them the hardened consistency of a bar. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this into 24 bars and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So I cut them into 24 bars. So they're actually really good sized bars for the point. So I'll go ahead and put all of the information here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. Don't forget all three recipes are on my recipe website. It is linked at the top of the description box. And if you are excited for another meal prep, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you never miss a future video. Also down in that description box, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group, head on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. And that's how you can keep up with me just a little bit more day to day. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Monday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.